Welcome to today's video. I got a comment recently that basically said, I call BS on me spending $400 a month on groceries unless all I'm eating is beans and rice or something like that. I thought it would be fun to go through an entire month of groceries for me. A normal cooking week or month, I am basically shopping out of my pantry and refrigerator. I did a whole video on that right here, which I will leave down below for you to go check out. I just thought it would be fun to document an entire month, the whole month of September, what I spend on groceries. So the beginning of September, I went into Fred Meyer almost as a afterthought because I was running errands and I'm like, oh, let me go in and see if they have some clearance bagged salads. That would be really nice. That's why I went in. Uh, they didn't have any. Let's go check out haul number one. This is a $60 haul basically from all of this. I'll tell you what happened there. I saw these tomatoes for $2.99. I thought that was a pretty good price. I grabbed two of them. There were about six there. I was in the market for sour cream anyway because I was out. Thrilled to see sour cream on clearance for 49 cents each. The baby broccoli was $1.49. We will probably eat these tonight with dinner. Kroger brand crescent rolls were 79 cents. Grabbed a few of those. One package of the Holy Guacamole Minis. Let's talk about the elephant in the room. This is fully organic, grass-fed, grass-finished, no hormones, no antibiotics, ground beef. The normal price for this is $9 to $10 a pound. At $1.99 a pound, I know this is a fabulous price. There were only four or five on the shelf that I saw. So I grabbed all five and put them in my cart. I'm like, this is an amazing deal. Like I need to get this deal. And then one of the workers comes up and he goes, Hey, did you want more of those? And I'm like, well, do you, do you have more? I didn't see any more out. And he goes, honey, they messed up. He had, I think four cases of this. He just had the sticker thing. And he was like, chung, chung. he was like, push your cart up here. I'll just put a whole case in your cart. And I'm like, well, I don't know that I need that many. And he goes, I need to get rid of these today. And then a couple of other people came up to see what was going on. I was like, look, I have plenty. I walked away. He had three or four cases left and all of the people that wanted some were able to get some. Holy smokes was able to stock up on a ton of high quality grass fed, grass finished beef for my freezer, which is where all of this is going right now. That doesn't always happen, but I was fortunate to have that happen. What I was dumb about is that I'm out of milk. <laughs> So I'm gonna have to go buy milk. So the next haul you see is gonna be milk. <laughs> but anyway, September, so far, 60 bucks. Hello, it is September 10th today. I thought I had milk in my outside fridge, I didn't. And I thought I had bread in my downstairs freezer, I didn't. $18 today, so let me flip you around and show me my tiny little grocery haul for today. Three loaves of the Bread Lovers bread. The milk was $2.89 a gallon. The date is pretty far out, so I grabbed three of these so I don't have to worry about it for a little while. These were on sale for 50 cents a bag, and I haven't had just frozen veggies just around for a while. That is all I got, 18 bucks. September 10th, I have not even spent $100 yet for the month. If you wanna see some of the items that I made this month, like as far as cooking, they're these right here, and I'll leave them linked down in the description box below. This month I am focusing on cleaning out the like freezer and pantry a little bit more, so I definitely don't need to buy a lot of stuff. Oh, let me show you my garden produce also. I picked all of these squash this morning, so I don't know, would you call these free? And I do have more tomatoes that are ripe. I'm looking at them and they look ripe and I feel like I should go pick them, but I might just let them sit on the vine for like two more days until I'm really ready to deal with them. I did do a garden this year. I did not post anything about it. Uh, we are winding down in garden season here in Idaho. It's usually done by the end of September. And my battery is about to die. So that is it for this clip. Small little grocery haul today. Two huge bottles of, I think these are a gallon each, distilled white vinegar, two of those. This is my favorite almond milk, honestly. The Great Value Unsweetened Vanilla, delicious. They last forever in the fridge. Some onions just for recipes, pickle making. I need some red bell peppers for a recipe I'm making for you guys. Mustard seeds, celery seeds, one head of cilantro, some pectin for jam making, two of the dill pickle packets. I'm also doing my own pickles with those. I just wanted to see how they compared and then one package of the medium salsa to make homemade salsa to make it really, really easy. I can't remember what all this costs, so I'll just put it on the screen right here and we'll add that to our current total for the month of September. Garden harvest for today. I thought I should add this. The cucumbers, oh my gosh, look at this monster. I don't even know if that's good anymore. I have an entire bowl of tomatoes, 
green beans. I had a bunch of pears fall off my pear tree. Uh, they're not quite ready yet, but these were on the ground. So I was trying to salvage these and I'm putting together a bag for my mom. So I have some tomatoes, some squash. Uh, she says she wanted the pears, so I'm putting the pears in there. Down here I have some more green beans, some more yellow squash, and one zucchini for my zucchini plant. I mean, I picked like three days ago, so this was three days worth of goods. Not those, that's something else. <laughs> We're definitely getting our fruits and veggies in. I did get a HelloFresh box, which I don't remember ordering, <laughs> but that's okay. Looks like these are meals for two. So it must have come up to ship and I didn't notice. Otherwise I would have changed it to like one meal for six or something. But that's okay, I will meal prep these for lunches most likely. Even though it is a HelloFresh box, uh, I didn't pay for this. And what I mean by that is several years ago, two years ago, I made a video that was like, can I make HelloFresh cheaper at home or something like that. And I did give a link to HelloFresh in the description box for the people that wanted to go try it out. I did not tell them to do that. They have never sponsored me. And it does give me a referral credit as well. And I've accumulated, like so many people use the code that I can get a box for free every now and then. If I didn't, I would probably just wait for my Green Chef box, which is a sponsor, but Green Chef sends me the product for the video. So don't pay for that one either. Here's my secret on doing the meal box kits. Get a code. Use the code to get a really good deal. Do the box once, don't do it again. If you wait long enough, like if you pause it long enough, they'll send you another code and then you can get it a deal. I like getting deals on stuff and I do like the meal box kits because they taste really, really good. They make me try new recipes, new flavors that I wouldn't have otherwise tried. I went into Fred Meyer to buy apples. That's the only thing I went in for. Here they are, Honeycrisp apples. They were $1.69 a pound. That's a great price for apples. And since I was in there, Ryan was with me and I'm like, hey Ryan, let's just do a sweep of the store, see if we can find any of those uh, reduced stickers. Guess what happened? Oh my gosh, look! The answer is yes. We did find some reduced stickers. I'll show you what I picked up. We spent 100 doll hairs. Today in today's grocery shopping, so my grand total right now is right here. I would consider most of this to be splurge items. Fun, oh that, that looks fun. I'm gonna grab it and throw it in the freezer. Don't mind the banging, Haley's making a, a dish back there. So yeah, a lot of this is freezer fodder, <laughs> except for these pizzas, which I will cook up and eat right about now. So let me show you what I got. Yes. I just want my food. 49 cent bread, I was really low on bread, so that was exciting. I was out of tortilla chips. This is the best brand of tortilla chip. Don't try and tell me it's a different one because it isn't, it's this one. Okay, I love these little holy guacamole minis because you can like put them in your lunch or snack or and they freeze really nice. This was a complete splurge. I even called Dave and I was like, hey, they have bison. Should I get some? So yeah, this was like stupid expensive. This is $12 a pound. I don't know, we're gonna see if we can like make it taste good. This was one of their deals this week. $1.49 a jar when you bought five or more. This is the best flavor. I'm telling you, this is the best flavor. If you have not tried this one, do it. Just, just do it. Just do it. Do it. I have no idea why these shrimpies were reduced. The date is fine. It's like 2023, but I grabbed four of these. Thought these would be fun. Throwing these in the freezer as well. Of course, there are my apples. Some really like hoity-toity hot dogs. Uncured beef hot dog, Applegate, natural, all natural. 100% grass-fed pasture-raised beef, humanely raised. I don't know what that means. My brother says he knows he's made it in life when he can buy whatever hot dogs he wants. So there you go. Clearance freezer section. These just looked fun. I don't know. Normally $4.29, I got for $2.19. Hey Dave, do you want to try these for lunch? Smoky Mole Madness. Give it a shot. Yeah? Yeah. Oh, I mean, it looks pretty good. I think it's vegetarian. Why is it not focusing? Oh my gosh. It wants to focus on Speedy. Speedy, it wants to focus on you. That's right. Mr. Popular. Also, like, these are all splurges, you guys. Korean barbecue, chicken, $4.49. I don't consider this a deal. I mean, it is, because it's half of what it normally is, but I still think it's a lot. One salad kit, lemon herb. That was a joke. I got some maple brown sugar oatmeal. I think this is the best flavor. I think everyone can agree, maple brown sugar is the best instant oatmeal packet flavor. Peaches and cream. <gasps> no. Yeah. Disagree, you're wrong. Got some rotisserie chicken by the Tyson. Are these cooked? Cook in under 20 minutes. Okay, they're not cooked, but they're seasoned apparently. And we got some Foster Farms orange chicken with orange glaze. That looks delicious. I mean, I'm gonna throw this in the oven like right now and eat this now. I didn't even realize this was gluten-free until I got it home. <laughs> 
Found two of those. Who has tried these sausage strips? These are so weird. It looks like bacon. You probably cook it like bacon, but it's sausage? What is the sorcery? Normally $3.99, I got it for $1.49. There's, I think there's five of these. I figured they'd be good for breakfast sandwiches or breakfast burritos or snack, dinner, lunch, bedtime, tea time, second breakfast, 11 Z's, first lunch, second lunch, anything really. Complete splurge items. 100%, but I mean, these are some like delicious looking dinners. Am I right or am I right? Because I'm like, <laughs> did not mean to spend $100 on this. Feeling like I'm over $200 and I still have half the month left. I should probably like tone it down for the next week. <laughs> And also scan my receipt with fetch rewards so I can get some points to like offset my spending a little bit. If you guys have never tried it out before, you just like scan your receipts with the app, they give you points, you redeem the points for gift cards. It's like a win-win-win. I do have a link below, like always. I have never been sponsored by them. I have tried and they're like, Christine, we don't want you. Should I have pizza and shrimp? Is that overkill? What do you think about all this stuff? Oh man, you got some stuff. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. Wow, that's like wow. you're gonna be vague about Wow, this. yeah, I, I was worried he was gonna be vague. I love these tortilla chips. Yeah, they're the best ones. They're so good. Uh, I like the guac. Well, like, look, they go together. Yeah. Like I, peas and carrots. The Jenny Lee was like peas and carrots. I am very conflicted about this. Why are you, why? It's pre-fried, they're already cooked. Yeah, you lost me at pre-fried. No, we have an air fryer. We'll see. I will withhold all judgment. You better withhold all the judgment. I'm very interested in trying this. Can I just tell you, like, this is very... Yeah, it uh, is weird. I'm very interested. It is weird He's that they're going to make sausage look like bacon. Yeah. yeah, stay in your own lane. <sighs> stay in your own lane, sausage. I'm excited. Okay, good. I'm excited about this right here. This right here. This. This one right here. Mm-hmm. September 20th, and we had a couple of nights of really, really cold weather so we pulled a good bit of the garden i wanted to show it to you real quick all of my pears off my pear tree fell off in some wind so they were here uh, i don't know that my cantaloupes had enough time to get ripe they're pretty small under there i have a ton of tomatoes i'm trying to salvage the rest of my tomato plants so they're all covered and hopefully they'll survive and then in this big bowl i have the rest of my green beans wasn't very much a ton of squash zucchini and then the rest of it underneath there are cucumbers so i'm going to try and put all of this produce away and figure out how we're going to use it for the next i don't know a couple weeks and hopefully my cantaloupe ripen and we can eat them we are winding down the september grocery shopping and i have two more things to show you so we're here at the end of september i wanted to show you my uh built bar order that came in they send me a mixed box every month uh, that I do not pay for. Now, sometimes I do spend my own money on the special flavors that I really like to do, and I do use my own code for that, so I do save some dollar dollar bills, and I think I always have that link in my description box if you ever wanna try out the Bilt Bar. My favorite flavors in this one are the non-fruity ones, if that makes sense. So I'll, I'll take out the raspberry and the cherry, and I'll just give those to Dave, and I'm like, here, take these to work. And then I have one last grocery haul from Walmart Grocery Pickup. I put in my order last night, picked it up this morning. You tell me what you think about this. Should I include this in my monthly grocery budget? I don't really know what that means. Or not, because everything I bought here is specifically for a specific video for you guys. I'm starting to film it today when I do these uh, videos that are like five to six dinners. It takes me at least a full week to film it. So I do have to think about and plan in advance. So does it go in the grocery budget? I don't know. I'm just gonna add it to the grocery budget for the month because I bought it and it's food. I think this was right at $60. One gallon of milk, two cans of the pinto beans, some black beans, there's more over there. Enchilada sauce, some sour cream. I go through sour cream really quickly. I love this stuff. Cottage cheese, I think I used Ibotta for this. You can use Ibotta for a grocery pickup. This was 75 cents back on each one. If you guys have not tried out Ibotta, I'll leave a referral down below. I think they give you $10 when you sign up with my link and redeem your first rebate. I think you get 10 and then I get two, if I remember correctly. Some corn, some tomato sauce, a couple of bell peppers. I tried to get the good Parmesan cheese. Is this the good Parmesan cheese? Some Velveeta, isn't this funny? Like nice cheese, 
fake cheese. <laughs> Some yellow corn tortillas, tater tots. I don't buy these very often, so I know my kids are going to freak out. Another tubey of garlic, two bags of sharp cheddar cheese. This is gonna be a cheesy video. A couple of bags of the broccoli florets. This was a substitution. I tried to get the one big bag, but I guess I didn't have it. Some pepper jack cheese, green onions. Is that it? Is that seriously it? Why was that $60? It feels like a lot. Probably because of all the cheese. Cheese is expensive. That is going to wrap up all of my food for the month. The amount I've spent for this month is here. Is it low for a family of six? High for a family of six? Who's to say? The truth is I have a lot of stuff at my house already, which I have definitely shown in previous like grocery hauls, clearance shopping. I show you all the time how to get deals on your groceries. And if you wanna see what we ate in the last week, I made a couple of videos on that, they're these right here, and I will leave them down below if you wanna go check them out. Of course, it's not everything that we ate, but it is some of the things that we ate. How much do you think I should be spending on a family of six for groceries every month? I'd love to hear your opinions. Would it be interesting to see me spend like a normal amount and see what I could end up with and see what we could eat? That might be a fun challenge. I do enjoy me a challenge or two. I hope you're ready for October to start. Fall, crock pots, pumpkin spice, everything. I'll see you then.